whether there are any guidelines for appointment of grad four staff for the landowner continuously after the retirement from the service to the children. So it has been that it does not entitle his decisions. So it was a good answer that I got. But sir, I want to just inform you that there is a continued problems to the department by the landowners that their sons or daughters should be given. Because it is continuing that if my father retire, my uncle's son he should get. So that way the department is facing a problem continuously for this uh, great for women to the landowners. Actually, the landowner should get only one, but not the fa father, not his uncle, the another uncle, younger brothers. Right? So that way the department is uh, facing the problems by the landowners. After he got, after his retirement, and his children should be given. See, uh, these are the problems that uh, they are getting because if he started giving continuously, then to the family, the job has been currently forever in the family. And the question number two, whether there are any problems in appointment of credit for staff in the district headquarters? If so, why? So they said that they are respected indigenous means that it does, uh, they don't have any problems, that is their reply. But just I want to highlight that thing. I want to just inform to the house. At Mon headquarters, we have got G Mon Land Owner Association. So the G Mon villages only they will get the appointment in the district headquarters. Whereas from the Jain, from the Taugu, from the Dayet, from the Nagamura, the Konyaks, we are not going to get. And if we got appointed also, they file against and the department has to terminate those appointees. So that way we are facing the problems in the district headquarters. I think in other districts also, there may be some problem also. In Guhima also, they may have a problem, like Guhima Village or Meri, Meri, uh, Merima, or adjoining like Kusuma or other uh, <coughs> so and so. So that way the district headquarters, we are facing the problem. So what we say that uh, the government is going to take? Because I'm Punya, uh, I belongs to Mon headquarters. Mon is uh, my district headquarters, but I'm not going to get, because I'm not the landowner of this Mon, uh, Mon headquarters. Only G and Mon is the landowner. So they are going to get, and they are denying. Even they are not allowing the department to forward the application if my people or from Togu one corporate uh, employee retire and they are not giving even the forwarding letter. Why? Why are you not giving the forwarding letter? We ask. They said that this land or not, they said not to write to the government. So that way that we are uh, facing the problem. So my humble request, or uh, only a suggestion, not a supplementary question. If it is going to be like that in all over Nagaland, like more, then like ATC headquarters, then civil history headquarters, I think it has to be uh, established all the departments which we are having in the Nagaland. So that in Dogu, I can have all the departments. We have got 82 or 74 departments. So it should be established with. Don't declare this headquarters, but you give us the establishment, the office. Because our people also should get the opportunity. So that is my only suggestion. Thank you, sir. What the questioner said is correct. There are problems, there are bad practices of the landowner of landowners everywhere. But the rules are very clear. The person First appointment as landowner in the government service does not entitle his descendants for further employment. So that is very clear. And the clear guidance is given that the district offices of the department shall be filled by the respective indigenous inhabitants of the district only. That also very clear. 
there are some problem and it is brought to my notice also that in certain cases appointment of land owners on compassionate grounds as long as fair and transparent eligibility criteria and process is followed so there is also a compassionate position privilege but as mentioned if there are five posts and if the land owner wants to take all the vacancies then the spirit of having a district headquarter which will be consisting of so many villages so that purpose is defeated and therefore since the guidelines is very clear i think the administrative officers or the officers who holds the district office should follow these guidelines and so after that the vacancy will be filled up through open advertisement in consonance with the existing government policy given equal opportunity to all applicants so things are very clear but local problems are there and therefore the officers should uh, take up why i say bad practices when there is some contract works come the land order issues come that means the land order may not be a contractor he may not be qualified tender a uh, contractor usually bigger works tenders are open and online tender and therefore the, the construction quality would be compromised i believe that people who get online tenders have to pay certain percentage to the land owners to do the work so all these practices you will never find in any other places but in nagaland which is a bad practice and it should be stopped and if land issues are not resolved government should not extend any uh, any works or any government activities some land owners go up to land owners or the committee even go to the practice of locking the office buildings if it is not up to their liking or some <clears throat> some defaults so you don't respect your government but you want all the respect from the government this is not the way and we do respect to good civil societies also many civil societies or individuals as mentioned naga society where i would say where educated society because our literacy rate has gone up above 80% and well read but when you come to the government that always anti establishment negative approach and many civil societies or ngos they will give memorandum ultimatum deadlines to the government they will only speak to the government through the newspaper that is a very bad practice in our society if you have any issue it should be addressed at the district level if not 
at the state level also. And <laughs> therefore, I think don't put the blames, mm -hmm. all the blames to the government. Yes, we're responsible to enforce law and order, but being a society, a community who are educated, we want to do with mutual respect. We want to do things orderly. What government standing orders the policy made are not respected. Therefore, I think society reformation is required. And if we are Christian state and if we are believers, I think we have to change all our illegal practices and uh, exert our right. You have a right, but others also have a right. And statehood is for whole Nangale. District means district of so many villages together. It's a headquarter. It belongs to everybody. District, I mean, uh, and administrative center, sub centers also. So I think that spirit should be there. Otherwise, the way we are, we are going now, it is individual, individualism. In this way, our society will go from bad to worse. So, this question is pertinent, and I appeal to all the landowners, when you sold your land to the government, we are grateful to you for your land being sold to the government for government activities, for public utility. And for that respect, government also will extend what is possible or what is in the category of compassionate. But otherwise, we should not try to always threaten and do taking law into our own hand. This is for the information of everybody. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, just one minute. Supplementing what our leader has said, I fully agree and endorse what he has said, but some certain understanding has come has to come between the landowners and also the government. Those who have sold the land should not ask for grain for horses or anything. And the government also, when they purchase the land, should go for an outright purchase. It should be mentioned outright purchase, so that no nitty gritty things such as grade four stuff will be added to that, number one. Places like Peg District. Till today, not even a single penny for land compensation has been given. Moreover, when there is five Great four stuff in a certain area. When there is not even one landowner being included, that is where agitation starts. That area we should understand. For example, today, in Peck District headquarters, in the heart of town, the GA rest house, general administrative rest house, where the government has occupied nearly two acres of land. There are five grade four staffs. Out of five, not even one landowner has been accommodated. So again, when a vacancy comes, if the landowner are not being recognized with one single post or so, then things will be aggravated. So such situations, who are in the government, who are running the state of affairs, should understand such things. And in that case, when you don't understand, call the local MLAs. We are here to apprise you. We will give you the real feedback. And that way there will be no problems. So I endorse what the Honorable CM said. We fully agree. But cases differ. So that area the government also has to understand. Thank you. Just one minute. Yeah. I wanted to give you a plenary model. I think uh, I also would like to endorse and appreciate what Honorable CM has just stated. Uh, it is important that the landowners also understand. But uh, it is actually easier said than done. We are facing that as MLA, as advisor, as minister, everything. 
this fourth grade guy going with the pressure on us. And the officers sitting here are also facing the same, uh, you know, great pressure. It is easier says that Senda, I have practiced law before joining politics, and I've also taken up cases of this nature. And when you go to court speaker cell, definitely we interpret from 371A coming down to the present rights. So therefore, naturally court inclined towards the landowners, even from that point of view. And uh, there are lots of integrity and warfare. For example, the, the, the children of the younger <coughs> siblings of the younger father will say that, hey, we got it, but the elder children of the elder father have not got it, the middle ones. These are the problem within the family of the landowners also. So there are, there are a lot of complexities involved here, and therefore a proper policy is needed to frame. What I need to, what I would like to emphasize is that in the, the Pandari Town model, when the, when the Pandari Town was created, there was an agreement with the government of Nagaland that 60% of the Fort Grant employment will go to the landowners, means the landowners of Pandari Town, and 40% will go to the uh, lower range people of that uh, under the circle uh, villages. That is the agreement. I think that can be a good model of the rest of the district so that every citizens of that district can adopt such idea. And we can't do away with this landowners. It is so difficult. No administrative officer has the audacity to face the landowners when they are children. It is so difficult. That is the situation. So therefore, I think we have to be realistic in our approach and find the best possible options. Thank you very much. Speaker, I have one more comment. Supplementing and what they say, I want to say one more thing. The, recently we have decided in the cabinet and also I think it is circulated. Whatever land we purchase, the landowners should not claim that he is the landowner. It is it should be outright purchase as stated. And for any reason if on competition ground it has to be considered that it should be dealt appropriately. Now, circular, that decision, that, that circular is. All the department, different departments, who had purchased land or who occupied land or who are the donors, when it is in the position of the government, Purchase or donor. Government department should ask for land pata. Department pata. So that in any encroachment, because there are many cases, it is government land, it is purchased. It is under occupation, but there are encroachment. <coughs> and then when you give a show cause notice that you are encroaching into government land, then they will take the government to the court and the court will interpret. Land belongs to the people, not the government. And the department cannot show the land pata. Then you become the encroacher. That's how many government land have been taken away. That's why all the HODs, AHODs should apply your department land anywhere in the state. A pata, a document, it should buy the land revenue. Otherwise, we'll continue to lose our land. We are grateful to the people who had given the land, who had sold the land to the government. 
but others are also encroaching, others are also taking advantage. Therefore, we have to do our duty and also we do what is necessary to the land owners, but it should be under the pata of the department. Thank you. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.